Gamut. Thanks for watching Bruins 360. It was a, br a busy week for our Bruin teams this last week. Let's go to Matt Dehart for a recap of last week's games. Thanks, Johnny. Well, the Lady Bruins finished up their season a little earlier than they wanted to, falling to Clearwater Christian 1-0 in the regional championship. And the men lost their fourth straight, losing 5-0 to Shawan University in Alumni Stadium. And now, your Bruins 360 Game of the Week. The men's basketball team opened their official season Saturday versus Crown College. The first half was a tough one, but Captain Ray Holden helped keep the Bruins in the lead at the half, 29-25. The second half was a totally different story as the Bruins came out scorching from behind the three-point line, hitting eight of nine attempts. Also helping late in the game were key baskets from Kyle Turner and Marshall Riddle to help seal the victory for the Bruins, 88 to 69. Back to you, Johnny. Thanks a lot, Matt. Earlier this week, we sat down with Ryan Beatles of the men's soccer team to talk about this season. For all your legal needs, call Brian Ramey and Associates, 864 295 0000. We're here with Ryan Beatles of the men's soccer team. He's joining us and to talk about Bruin soccer. You are kind of one of the most uh, veteran guys <laughs> on the team as you've actually played, I think, more minutes than any other guy uh, in program history. So from year one now to year three, you being a senior this year, what's been kind of the, the, the biggest exciting times and the biggest growth that you've seen? Um, well, it's been, it's been a blast. Like, I've loved every single minute of it. Um, I mean, there are times, obviously, when, when it gets kind of a drag, but in the end, I always really enjoy it. Um, exciting moments. Every every season has exciting moments and defining moments in a sense, um, and, I, and I believe we've had a few of those this year even as well. Um, the growth of just the program has been awesome just to see um, from year one to, to year three, um, getting to see the differences uh, of Coach McCormick and, and how we run things, um, how things operate behind the scenes even. It's more behind the scenes stuff I think that have changed instead of um, maybe on the field necessarily, but I mean, it's been really exciting to, to see and to be a part of it. I'm really thankful for, for the opportunity to do that. This season, I mean, it, it's been one of, I mean, I don't want to say disappointment. It's it never, no season is ever really a disappointment, I don't think. Um, but you guys have had a different record than in previous seasons. We've been a little bit spoiled the last couple of years with you yes. guys and how dominant you've <laughs> been. Uh, this year, you know, losing record right now. But with the team the way that it is, especially you as a veteran player, uh, talk about uh, your role on the team with so many young guys on the roster. Yeah. Um, uh, something I've been, I've been spoiled with personally is just having um, an older person above me in the past that's helped me kind of get along with uh, just adjusting to everything. And so that's what I'm kind of trying to, trying to do as well with, with some of the younger guys in the team, especially the ones that um, might not have as high of a level, played at high of a level in high school or something. Um, with those, those guys, um, I'm trying to help them, you know, realize uh, every day, like, you got to come to practice with, with your game on, you know. In high school, you could show up to practice, and if you weren't on your game, it wasn't a big deal. Mm -hmm. But in college, every day, you got to be on your game, uh, practice or, or games. Um, so I've, I've really tried to help out some of the guys uh, that way. I help them un understand the intensity of the game at college and understand the speed of the game. It's a totally different, totally different than high school. Um, but then again, we, we do have some good freshmen as well who have stepped up their game, um, I believe, and have really helped out. Um, us and, and even if me as a veteran, just I can see them working really hard, and it's very encouraging to me as well. Just a couple of games left in the season. From your perspective, again as a veteran player, what do you guys got to do to to really make a run in the regionals? Yeah, well, we obviously got to perform uh, to the best of our ability and the, to the ability that we know God has given us, and um, we know we can do that. And we're preparing for that um, right now, even this week. Uh, we were preparing for CIU and for Georgia Gwinnett, and also eventually for regionals. Um, so we're looking for uh, these two games to kind of be um, a springboard for us in the regional playoffs. One last question, again, as a, as a three-year player now, as you look back, I mean, years from now, five, ten years from now, what are you going to remember most about being on the team? Um, I'll definitely remember that first game. Uh, that was absolutely amazing. I've never played in front of that many people before in my life. Probably never will again either. Some professionals um, have never played in front of that many <laughs> That's people. right. Um, so it was, it was a blast. Like, I loved that. Um, also, the, that first year, um, we came back and beat Shawan 4-2, I believe. Um, we were down 2-0 at one point and came back and won 4-2. That game was an amazing game as well. Um, but overall, I, I just, um, I just am thankful for the time I've had, and I think I'll have a lot of good memories um, from playing soccer for the Bruins. All right, it's Ryan Beatles and the men's soccer team. Ryan, thanks for joining. Sure us. thing. Now let's take a look ahead at what's coming up for our Bruins teams. On Thursday, the men's soccer team travels to Columbia, South Carolina, to play against cross-state rival Columbia International University. And on Saturday, they round up the regular season by playing Georgia Gwinnett College in their last regular season game of the season. On Friday and Saturday, the women's basketball team plays in the Tip-Off Classic against Trinity Baptist College in Jacksonville, Florida. 
On Saturday, the men's basketball team will travel to Tennessee to play against Milligan College. Also on Saturday, the men's and women's golf teams will host the first ever BJU Bruins Golf Classic at Green Valley Country Club starting at 11 a.m. Remember, at any time, you can visit BJUBruins.com or download the new Bruins app at BJUBruins.com slash app. You can access stats, schedules, our social media channels, and so much more. Thanks for watching Bruins 360.